Uh oh. Not again. So, we're boarding the derelict. It seems like we're going to get multiple attempts to get all of them, which is nice, so you don't have to buy them, I guess. But we're getting today the Volvo Amazon. And it is in the exact same place as the Skyline was last time. So, top right of the map. Literally in this little um, turn. I think the best way to do it is fast travel to there and just drive this little route around. So last time, if I remember rightly, I didn't get it, but I think it was in Rally or Dirt Spec. And this time, it's like it's in a Race Spec. It's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, is it? Here we go. Found you. It's very uh, tall. Very nimble, I must say, Agile. Not very fast, then. Ooh. Do you know, I think we have to do some kind of granddad challenge or something. Whoa. Let's see if it drifts. <laughs> Surprisingly well. Rhino, and there it is. That's probably the first time I've actually avoided a rhino. Oh no. Another one, that's not good. Ooh. Clearly spoke too soon. I've never, I don't think I've ever had two rhinos before. So I guess if you avoid one, the same another, until you hit it or something like that. Ooh, they got me good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no way! Oops. I was close, almost lost it again. Right, I think I made it back to where I was before. Just skimmed the rhino earlier. Oh, fooled them all so badly there. The one. Hoo -hoo. I would say I'm too good, but I've been caught already. So, you know, not particularly that good, am I? Since the derelict, I'm pretty sure it can be a... Oh, and it's going to box me in. That's close. I'm pretty sure it can be a uh, 399. Oh! These police are violent today. Uh oh. Not again. <gasps> oh, that was so close. That was way too close. I refuse to do this again. Good idea, actually. I'm a copy you. Please don't be it. It's a dead end. Come on. Okay, that really backfired, didn't it?
Ah, and they've left me. Thank you. Lost them. That has got to be one of the hardest I've ever done. You got yourself a Volvo Amazon P130, I see. This classic beauty is a real workhorse too. It'll take a beating and keep on ticking. Yeah, clearly. So let's see what customization this thing has. Okay, this seems to have. Seems like it might have a fair bit looking at it. We'll stick with the st pretty much standard stuff for now. Ooh, that is ugly to say the least. Front bumpers. I think we're going to go with standard stuff. Splitters. Let's see if that bump makes a difference. Ah, uh, there we go. Dead splitters. Have we got widened fenders? Uh, slightly. Hmm. Why not? Little stockish is slightly widened, it's pretty cool. Okay. Spoil oh <laughs> that is a little lit part do. Yeah, we'll go with the standard stuff for now, I think. Hmm, never used that before. Side skirts. What rims do you put on a Volvo? One of the few cars that have the old brakes and uh, drum brakes, so you have to put discs on before you can put calipers, put calipers on. Uh, let's see we're just like fully lowered and cambered out. Um, interesting. Let's give it a modest drop out there. Slight bit of race car camber. I think we're going to go with this gap build taxi because that is a typical gap build car. Something like this with 900 horsepower. That would be good. So, that was the uh, Volvo Amazon build. That took a long time to get, to be honest. That was the hardest one I've definitely done. But yeah, it seems like a good car. So if you want to see more, please like, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.